Okay, so I'm going to do something I haven't done yet. I mean, I've sort of done it when we first got it. I held it. Okay, so I want to address Fallon. Nope, not Fallon. Sorry. Fancy. Hey, y'all. It's been a minute. I feel like I haven't shot a video in forever, but it's only been like a week, I think. But I did actually get to meet up with a bunch of you this past weekend at Oki Homestead, and it was super cool. Uh, got to meet up with a lot of other YouTubers and, and just chat and visit and spend some time with them, and I love that. It was so cool getting to catch up and people that I haven't like really got to chat with and then we did and anyway it was it was a great weekend uh, some friends of ours the Moorheads um, let us crash with them and we appreciated them a ton and Wes stayed back at home and helped hold the fort down here with the kids and the animals and so yeah everything went smooth uh, really great weekend I'm glad I got to go this year last year I did not if y'all uh, did not follow it. Well, actually, um, last year when they had Oki Homestead, it was in March, and I hadn't even started my YouTube channel yet, but we had our Razor Wreck, and like two days before the event, a day or two before the event, so I didn't get to go. Me and the kids didn't. We were obviously, we were injured, and so we stayed home, and Daniel and Houston went, but yeah, it was fun. Um, very uh very cool experience got to listen to some really cool speakers my brother included which i'm pretty partial to and uh yeah it was a super great weekend and then we come home and hit the ground running emily has basketball camp softball practice houston's um end of season well no it's the it's the first round of playoffs i believe for the end of season tournament i'm really not sure anyway he's got baseball tournament uh starting tonight and yeah just summer is you know it's just go we just go <laughs> so man and that's how we like it i don't mean that in a negative way at all but we're gonna go give steve some treats and we'll check on the girl donkeys and just catch up on everyone so let's go Steve, did you know I was bringing you treats? That's why you're already at the gate waiting on me. Hmm? Hang on. Get back. Nope, 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 nope. You like to escape sometimes. Oh, I can't get the gate shut. There we go. Steve, it is hot out here. I'm going to use the propane tank again. We got him some apples and some cucumbers. Hey, buddy. Is that good stuff? Hmm? Yeah, that's what... Oh, you dropped some. Some cucumber. How's that? You like it better than the apple? Here we go. You're not in the mood for a scratching. Hmm. I get that. Hang on. Where's all your friends? They hiding out in the barn? In the shade? Hmm? Oh gosh. Okay, here, one more. There's a lot more girls in the girl pen. ASMR, donkey ASMR. <laughs> Here we go. I'll do one more. There you go. 
I gotta make my rounds, buddy. It was good seeing you. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do something I haven't done yet. I mean, I've sort of done it when we first got it. I held it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hold Charlie, or at least pet Charlie. So maybe I can acclimate to this bird as it grows. <laughs> Because I'm very nervous about having a large bird down here at the barn on our property. <laughs> so, let's see how this goes. Charlie! Charlie's busy. Looks so weird without arms. Well, Charlie had to use the bathroom. <laughs> Just gonna sit here for a few minutes and let him kind of get acclimated to me. He keeps getting a little closer. Or she. We really don't know. I could just go grab it and hold it, but I'd like to like for it to just come to me on its own. Get comfortable around me. Smell me, maybe. I don't know. I've been at the gym. Maybe it shouldn't smell me. <laughs> about it. <laughs> what are you packing my phone for? No! <laughs> I said no touching. All right, Charlie. I'm going to leave you to it. We'll do this more often. Maybe if the roosters can keep their crowing to a minimum. RJ, what are you doing? <laughs> you just hanging out? <laughs> I think everybody's hanging out. Trying to stay cool. <laughs> Excuse me. What are you doing, Linda? Hey, buddy. RJ. Here, buddy. Bear? I don't know if you want apple. No? Okay. Well, I'll take my apple and go somewhere else. The herd's a little diverse over here, isn't it, buddy? Oh, oh. RJ getting after the turkey. What in the world? <laughs> Uh-oh. Other guy's back. The food stealer. Oh, look at him laying out there. <laughs> Chilling. All right, let's make our way to the girls. Daniel will open the gate back up and let them in here so they could graze some more. There's still quite a bit of 
grass and stuff over there that they can devour and munch on, clean up. Hey girls, y'all want a snack? Farrah does, come on Farrah. I like this spot out here because I can set my phone up on it. It's on a tripod and I have somewhere to set my snacks if I need to. Oh, somebody's been putting some treats up top. Some food. What do you think, Farrah? Hmm? You ready for a bite? Hey, easy, easy. I'm not in a hurry. <sighs> Chew that up. Come on, Fancy. Hang. Back up. Back up. Back up just a little bit. Here we go. No, just wait. I gotta share. Gotta share with your sisters. Did you just scratch your nose on me? Hmm? Hey, fancy. Oh, coming in hot, Farrah, or Fallon. Farrah's already here. Ah, quit. Oh, I'm gonna have to stand. <laughs> okay, hang on. Gotta get far out here so y'all can see me. Okay, okay. Ah, ah. Oh. Farah, that's not nice. There you go, Phoebes. There you go. Farah, no! Thanks for sneezing on me, Fallon. Oh, quit, quit. That's not nice. You quit being mean. While we're trying to eat treats, I'll try to give you an update on, hey, okay. Now, I'll try to give you an update. Am I too far? I may be too far. <laughs> okay, here you go, here you go. An update on the other two girl girls. Felicia, hey, and Fiona. Felicia and Fiona are doing really good over at Marie's. Yes. Here, y'all can come in a little closer here. How about this? Oh, oh, oh. Let me see. Oh. They're doing really good. They're probably close to coming home because if my math is right, we're close to that, um, here, two, two month mark. So, and we were shooting for the two months so that they could get two full cycles in, which is what we want to ensure a healthy pregnancy. Or at least, uh, at least a healthy uh, mating, if we can put it that way. So. <laughs> Y'all want another bite? <laughs> They act like they haven't eaten in months. They definitely have. Huh, Phoebes? Huh, huh, huh? Huh, Phoebes? <laughs> okay, hang on. I have I have a few more. Y'all can come over here. Y'all are getting awful pushy. Come here, Freedom. Quit. Here. Here we go. Fallon, for being so pushy with your mama. Oh. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Oh my gosh. There you go. Ah, you'll drop that. Excuse me.
Just a minute, just a minute, Fallon. Oh. Here you go, Freedom. Oh, you made me drop it. Goodness. I think Fallon keeps dropping them. Stop. Oh, crud. Oh my gosh. Excuse me. There you go. Oh, don't drop it. Hey. Are you going to eat it? Are you going to eat it? Don't spit it out. All right. That's it. It's gone. It's gone, gone. Gone, gone, girls. Gone, gone. You good girl. Yeah. You good girl. Okay. Hang on. I'm gonna get up here. So, uh, maybe that will eliminate some headache for a second. Ha uh -huh. ha! Oh my gosh, these girls. Sun is bright. There, much better. Let me turn this way. My shoes are making some weird noises. Okay, so I want to address Fallon. Nope, not Fallon. Sorry, Fancy. We talked about it on the live video that we did uh, a little while back. I don't couple weeks ago maybe whenever we did the launch I can't remember and um we said on there that we think that she's probably not pregnant she's been about the same size since well a, probably a couple months after we got her which was I think we got them in like July of last year and we were told she was put with a male with a jack in May and so, in theory, she should have had a baby, should, yeah, May should have been her time. And there is still a window, I guess, of uh, if she is pregnant, but we just don't think she is. Hey, that's my foot. No. And stinks. Um, I, no. Well, quit eating my shoes, biting my feet. So, we don't think that she is pregnant. Freedom wasn't bred till months after her, and she is already huge. Now, in Freedom's defense, she gets huge pretty quick, and then is just, she's just big. She carries bigger babies, too. So, uh, there's that. I'm not sure if, we haven't decided if we're going to have the vet come out and do, like, some blood work on her just to verify or we might put her with Steve and just see kind of what happens. I do know that like with some animals, like with the alpacas, if they're already bred, a male won't breed them uh, or they won't try. With donkeys, I don't believe that's the case. I think that they will still try to breed. So I'm not real sure what we're going to do. Maybe a little bit more research and figure out what the best route is for Fancy. Because obviously, if she's not pregnant, that really stinks because we've been waiting a whole year. And, you know, if she wasn't pregnant, we could have put her in with Mel or with Steve. But we didn't because we were told she was bred. So, there's that. You know, it's farm life. You just never know. Especially when you bring in animals that you haven't raised from from super small. And when you don't, like we didn't actually get to even speak to the previous owners. We had like a, a friend in between and the, the elderly lady that our friend got them from um, did not have a lot of information to give apparently. So anyway, it's just one of those things, but... It is what it is, and we will maneuver our way through it and hopefully figure out pretty soon if she is pregnant or not. We're definitely going with not. Uh, we're not thinking she is. But 
there have been other bigger surprises happen around here in the past so there is there is no telling really so anyway yeah um fixing the shower and head out to basketball camp then uh, she actually emily has softball practice which we don't have to watch that and then um houston has baseball tonight and so that's what we're gonna go do um song of the video hmm hang on song of the video is going to be battle belongs by phil wickham such a great song um got me through a lot like really and uh just a just a very uplifting oh just a wonderful song all around i played it at church sunday and um i listen to it pretty often when i'm in there filling orders and it just uh just kind of like resets me sometimes and it just affirms that anything i'm going through or whatever it is uh it's not my battle it's the lord's battle and he's got it for me and it's just a great reminder so y'all go listen to that song and i think that's gonna be it for this video oh question are y'all interested in a couple of items for the fourth of july because i think i think i'm gonna do some of those what do y'all think let me know in the comments just nothing crazy or wild maybe hat a couple t-shirts i don't know uh, we did one 4th of July t-shirt last year and like we sold out like crazy and I, I love that t-shirt. It was such like, I wear it all the time. And so y'all let me know. Yeah, let me know. I think I might do two different ones and then a hat. So, all right guys, I'm going to get off here. It's a little, I don't know, maybe we're going to get some rain. Who knows? It's Oklahoma. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, do your best. Let's go, dude. There you go. Mm. That was a little low. Good job, Houston. Get up. There you go. Good job. Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>